Hey, welcome everyone. Another Ask Mark session here at Blue Glow Electronics. I haven't done any of these in a while and my inbox for Ask Mark questions is getting really long. So I thought over the next week or two, I might, um, you know, try to get some of these answered. This is a question that comes to us today from Rob in Canada, and he basically is working on a piece of Philips equipment, and he's asking me the following question. Hey, Mark, on the schematic, what is this device right here in orange? Okay, well, Rob, it's not really that much of a mystery here. What it is is a multi-section capacitor, okay? In other words, it is a single device that inside of it has two capacitors inside of it, okay? So if you'll notice here, C120, so on the schematic, capacitor 120, and C121 are both inside of this same little device here. And if you'll notice, the positive terminal for C120 is right here, and it's tied on this side of the resistor here at 206 volts. And the other side, the other capacitor, C121, is tied on the other side of this resistor here, um, where you have 220 volts here, okay? So in other words, you're dropping some voltage across this. So really what you have here is in the circuit is a CRC connection here that's being used as part of the power supply filtering, okay? But back to this little device inside of orange here. So the positive connections are here. The negative connections, if you'll notice, they come down and they're tight and they're common. And what this is saying is that both of the negative sides of these capacitors are tied together. And typically you'll see that in a can style capacitor, a metal can. And typically the can is then tied off to ground, and that's what this is showing right here. You're going to take this can and you're going to tie it together and tie it off to ground. Uh, it's not always the case. Sometimes the can can be positive and not tied to ground. Sometimes it can be the negative for the power supply, but not tied to the chassis of the amplifier. But I bet you if you look and find C120 and 121, it'll be a little round metal capacitor and it'll have two tabs coming out of the top side of it. And that would be these connections here. And then the chassis of it would be tied off to ground. OK, sometimes these are done in what's called a fire uh, cracker style capacitor. Um, it's not inside of a metal can. You just have one lead coming out of one end and two leads coming out of the other end. But based on the fact that these are 350 volts on each side, I'm betting this is a can cap. Um, and then you'll notice here it kind of has this 8 slash 8, which is kind of confusing because what they're really saying is both sides of this capacitor are 8 microfarad. So this is an 8 microfarad side. This is an 8 microfarad side. And why they showed that versus just showing 8 microfarad and 8 microfarad here, I'm not sure, but that's what you've got. C120 is 8 microfarad, C121. If you don't want to replace it with a can cap and you just wanted to use two individual standalone 8 microfarad capacitors, you could. You would just twist the negative leads together and tie them off to ground here. Hope this makes sense and I hope it explained what you are looking for. Thanks everyone.